Hey guys, Kathy Rankin here with your weekly soaps roundup and it tis the season. Happy holidays everyone. I hope you're getting ready for the holiday season. And speaking of the holiday season, it's our favorite time of year on the soaps when we get to see all the characters in big group scenes in sentimental, over the top, sappy situations where they have an excuse to dress up and forget that they all actually can't stand each other. Wait a minute, that actually kind of sounds like real life. Well, anyways, I'm just saying, let's check out what's happening. First, on The Bold and the Beautiful, well, Hope refused to allow her daughter to grow up with her sister Kelly if Taylor remained part of the picture, which probably means trouble for her marriage to Liam. No surprise there. Okay, meanwhile, Taylor and Brooke had another clash during which Taylor's new hero, Reese, intervened to defend Taylor. Now, the possible gold digger continued to court Taylor. Does anybody court anymore? And they shared another kiss. And Maya returned home from Paris and stunned everyone with the news that she and Rick were divorcing. Coming up, Reese avoids a mysterious stranger. Now, next on Days of Our Life, Julie discovered Gabby switched the paternity test results and that Chad was the father of Abigail's baby, but naturally, you guessed the guy, she tumbled down the steps after a fight with Gabby and of course landed in a coma. Abby served Stefan with an early Christmas present, divorce papers, Merry Christmas, how's that for a stocking stuffer? And Sonny insisted to Will they couldn't be together because of Leo's blackmail. And JJ met a nurse named Haley at the hospital and prevented her from taking her own life. That is a total suicide theme out of left field. Now Chad learned he is Charlotte's father. Now over on General Hospital, Mike's Alzheimer's worsened and he and the patient he's sweet on ran away from the daycare facility, but were safely recovered. Nina and Valentin reunited, but Dr. Obrecht knew Valentin had paid Sasha to pretend to be Nina's long lost daughter in order to win Nina back. Willow was revealed to be the mother of baby Wiley, though she doesn't know her son died, and Brad and Lucas are actually raising Michael and Nell's son, who was swapped by Brad and Nell for the dead child. I don't know what's going on, you guys. Coming up, Dr. Obrecht visits Nell in prison. And finally, on The Young and the Restless, oh my gosh, I love it. Nikki got sloshed at the Jabot Christmas party, wandered out into a blizzard, and was mowed down by Reed, who was driving Charlie to party, because guess what? Charlie was drinking too. Bottoms up, everybody, tis the season. Reed didn't see what he hit due to the storm, but later when it was revealed that Nikki was in a coma after a hit and run, he realized he, and not Santa and his reindeer, ran over Grandma. In happier news, Devon signed Fend a recording contract, that was quick, but didn't allow Anna to serve as producer, and Jack and Carrie, well, they made love. Coming up, a comatose Nikki dreams of Victor, of course she does. That's it for this weekly soaps roundup, you guys. I'm gonna go get some eggnog and hope that somebody spiked it. And I'm wishing you all a great holiday season. Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, and Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Have a good one. Thanks, guys.